Hey, what's up guys? It is Jamie. It's November 21st, Monday, 2022. Uh, just kind of actually showing some trades instead of me just, just talking, right? Sharing my knowledge and wisdom. <laughs> Although I might have some experience and, and some uh, input that, that will be valuable in some regards, okay? But usually when I'm going on here, it's I will bounce it off of other people. I'll, I'll check like right now I'm trading a lot of Tesla and I will search Tesla in the YouTube search bar and I get a lot of the same guys and they give you their input and a lot of them are fundamentals technical analysis they all kind of the say the say the same thing what I'm really interested in is their price predictions and what they think and because I enjoy it it's more like um, I'm having I'm having fun you know getting that, that data I'm gonna share what I'm executing uh, success or failure uh, with with some trades with what I have and it doesn't matter if somebody has a hundred bucks a thousand bucks or ten thousand or a hundred thousand I feel comfortable with Tesla because I really don't believe it's gonna go to zero I don't think it'll go under a hundred it is possible so if I can get my cost average under 180 I'm okay with it because all I'm gonna do is just hold and uh, I'm gonna keep selling those covered calls all right the only the only downside to that in my opinion, is whether it goes to 120 or 160, right, or 180, or whatever, whatever it holds at. At some point, at some point in weeks or months, it will recover. I think, my opinion. So even though there's a little more risk with that, I'm like, hey, it could go to 120. I'm at 190, basically, just under 190. Then I'm like, okay, I think I can get my cost down somewhere between, depending on how low it goes, 170 and 180. And if it does go to 100 or 120 or 140. How, what is my risk? And then you calculate your risk. I'm like, so for every 100 shares, if it goes to 100, if I own my shares at 170, I'm gonna lose $70 times 100 shares is 7,000. And if I have 300 shares, I'm gonna lose $21,000 in value. Does that make sense? So you're like, wow, are you gonna lose $20,000? Like, well, no, I, I could, it could go lower than that. <clears throat> but it may never hit that. And the other thing is, is it may never go this low again. It may be the perfect setup for a massive run where a lot of the analysts, the Wall Street analysts, which they're, not, they're always right, but when 40 of them, 40 something of them all are, are the, the overall consensus is it should be in the 300s, whether it's now or down the road, because that they're looking ahead, the market looks ahead. Then you think, I know analysts can change their pricing, but if it's at 170 right now, isn't that a good deal? Right? If you go somewhere and you're like, man, I, I, I'm gonna buy this product or service. And it is a great product and service and it's at a massive discount of 50% off when you buy it. So that's how I'm looking at it. It's not because I'm thinking Tesla is the one and I know I've, I've kind of run on, on, on a bit here. I am gonna show one, one quick trade because I don't want to be the over 20 minutes. But if you're buying a stock like Tesla that you believe in that is un undervalued or, or a value play, then isn't that your best chance of doubling or tripling your your uh, your portfolio or your money? And if you can make money in between, isn't that great? So I'm willing to risk the $20,000 because there's risks everywhere. Just like your house value isn't probably gonna go to zero, right? Your house, unless, I don't know, like unless a sinkhole, you know, forms in your street and swallows up all your neighbor's house and, you know, there's a gas, a volcano, or you know, something crazy happens, right, a black swan event, then the chances of your house going to zero are slim to none. It may pull back a bit in this market. All right, I'm gonna head inside, but I will shoot up a, a video, so this will probably run a little bit longer, um, but I'm gonna actually show you a trade, because right now as I do this, it's 8.50 a.m. pre-market still. I probably will do a setup, like saying, here's where I'm at pre-market on uh, one of the contracts, see where it ends up from 9.30 to 10, you know, I like to see the first half an hour to an hour and see where it goes because I'll, if it drops heavily and I can make a, like 500 to 1,000 bucks on that call, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and I'll just buy it back in again. So, or, you know, or sell another contract, a call. But uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, um, let's, let's go into this and just, just to show you. All right, so this shows you today's return all right, so my put on Chase is not, not making money. I'm actually losing money there. But you can see this 170 
uh, call, covered call that I sold, I collected $1,750. Now, right now, it, it, you know, the stock price is down, so I am up $290. I'm up 16%. Now, this expires on December, um, let's see, when is this expiration? December 16th. Okay, right there. December 16th. So today I'm up 417. You know, overall though, I'm up, you know, about 300 bucks, which isn't bad. And then this other one, which expires January 2025, I'm up $285. So you can see I am down $1,600 for the day, right? As far as the value of my shares, I'm 260 shares in Robinhood. If I offset that and say, well, I'm off 1600 but I'm also up for the day. I'm also up $700. I'm really down $1,000 in value. So I can offset that and lock this in if I wanted to buy this contract, either one of these contracts back, which I might. But what I'm doing is I'm watching the price action. Right now, it's still... It's still going down, but you can see the, you know, as these candles form on the RSI, that's three minutes. Let's look at five minutes. Let's look at 30 minutes. So it's way down there and in one hour. So I will tell you what, I am probably going to buy back this contract uh, at 174. So I'm going to go over here. And it says I have one contract. I'm up $287, which is 16%, okay, from Friday till today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to trade. I'm going to go to buy. And it says one contract available, okay. And now I can set what I want to buy it back for. So let me go back here and just see where it's at. Right now it's at $1,485. And it's climbing because it's pumping a little bit here. So, I mean, it could go back down, but if I want to lock in that 250, 200, $300, you know, it's 14, 15%, I'm probably gonna go ahead and hit buy, right, buy. And then uh, I will put 15 and buy it back. All right, so it probably will get filled right away. So now if I go to Tesla, you know, this right here, I will talk about this. This will constantly go up and down. This will show me up 2,000, down 5,000. But it, it doesn't really matter until I actually sell those shares. But what you'll see here, let's go to the history. And the reason I did that is because I, I think I could do this again later today. So I bought it. Let me show you here. Tesla. Uh, I bought it for 17. I, I'm sorry. I I sold a covered call for 1765 on uh, Friday, the 16th. Is that Friday? No, actually, I did that on um, Wednesday. Okay. So Wednesday. So today, I made 265 dollars. Right. That's what I ended up keeping as I bought it back. So I made $265, threw it in the bucket, all right? And then I can rinse and repeat. So now it'll show my buying power at, let's see here, 33.67. So this one I'm gonna hold on to, this Tesla January uh, 2025. But over here, I'm gonna go to trade options and, and I'm gonna watch this. Right now, this could go down, right? Or it could shoot way up. So what I'm going to watch and see is if down here on this R, you can't see it because this thing's in the way. I'm going to see if um, down here, guys, when that gets up closer to the 70 or above the 70, if it does, I will again sell one of these one month to two months, you know, maybe December 23rd uh, um, prices. I will sell it again 
you know, and collect, collect another premium. Let me do this other one really quick. So you can see now on the one hour chart, Tesla is now in the 170s. Oh my gosh. All right, lots of red, well below the 30 RSI. So I could act quick here. So I currently have, um, I have an, a pending order I'm gonna change really quick, but I am up $375 and I wanna lock that 7% in really quick. So, and reopen another contract. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna replace this order, continue, and then I'm gonna to go to 40, oh. So one contract at 40.90. I think that'll work. All right, see if I get filled. All right, sell to open on a 250 call right here which is um, going to expire on January 17th, 2025. I do not plan to wait that long, but I want to close this position right here on my option, lock in this 375 like I locked in the other two, 300 bucks earlier on the short term, but I want this one to get filled first. So I don't know why it's taking so long. Let me go back here. Is it filled? Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and replace that. I want to get this done. 41.30. Let me go to 40.75. That should work. Yep. All right. So that's filled. Now I'm going to go over here. All right. And you're going to look at my buying power. My buying power is going to go up. Right. Right there. So now I'm going to close this one out. I'm up $455. So I'm going to go trade, buy. I got one contract available, All right? So I'm going to go one, and I'm going to go 46. Oh, what is it at right now? It's at 45.45 trade. So I'm going to go buy, one, 45.50. All right, somebody wanted to get out of there. So now my buying power will go down, right? It says less, less than that. It's because the other one has to register. But I just locked in that 400 and change. So if I go back to Tesla, which says I'm down today, 5,000 total. But if I go to today's return, it's had a huge drop, right? But I'm at 275 shares. I'm close to 300, which I like. But now I have, um, you know, I have 100 shares that are open to trade. Oh, wow. JP Morgan is going down. Um, it's at 170, right? And I go to the um, history down here. And this app is the Robinhood app, which I like. You're going to see that uh, $5,000 right here, right? 230 call for uh, $5,000, right, call, that I collected that premium. And then up here, I just sold it. You guys saw me do it. I sold it at $45.50, so that gave me a profit of $450, okay? Plus the one earlier, um, which was $1,750 or $1,765, $1,765, and I sold it for $1,500. So what does that mean? I'm doing this on my computer. So that's $265 plus $450. So I made $715 on those two plays. Make sense? All right. And I opened up a new position with this Tesla call, and I'm probably going to do a short-term one. I can see my buying power going up. And I keep increasing the shares. I'm not suggesting you do this. I'm just showing what I'm doing. All right. Because I'm down here, but I don't really care because at some point, at some point, it's going to go back up. You know, is what is my belief? That is my belief. So if I go back to a weekly, you know, if I said one month out, which would be December, say twenty third. Right now it's at one seventy. So depending on what I think the stock is going to end up at, I could go up to one ninety, and 
you know, I own it for basically 188. So I could collect 600 bucks right now if I wanted to just do a short-term contract and I'll be in the money if it sells, even if it doesn't close at 190, um, cause it's gotta be 190 or higher for me to lose the shares. I will make 600 bucks. So I can, I'm gonna watch the price action because I think there's gonna be a pop back up. It's just so oversold right now and there's so much in it. I'm gonna watch this and do another one. But you see what I'm saying? I just keep doing that over and over again, 500, 700, and, and I keep adding this. So even though you'll see my, 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 um, my total account, because I'm using a lot of margin right now, it's because I can liquidate these shares. I only have 100 shares tied up. So though I'm down, and I go back over here and I look at how, how massively oversold this is right in the 30 minute chart. I mean, just look at that. Look at the history, guys, down at the bottom. Right? I mean, typically when it gets down to that level, it does come back up. Right? It's just, it just, it just, it just should. It just should. So I'm going to wait for that to happen. And, and then I will probably sell some of these 75 shares if it does, depending on how high it gets. But my shares right now are at uh, 188 a share. And I'm just getting that down lower and lower and lower. So I'll keep making that money on the other side. You know, even though it says my market value is 47 grand, that's not all my money. That's that's the mar that's the, the brokers. A uh, third of that, or you know, two thirds of that probably are. Let's take a look and see. The the broker has 28 grand. So you know, like, oh, you get a lot of risk. No, not really, because I had the money. I could put it in if I had to. But I could sell the shares if I needed to. If it if uh, if I got a margin call, if it dropped, you know, to zero, you know, or to no, to zero to say 100, 125. And there's a gamble there, yes. But on the other token, if it goes up, if I can maintain this and it does go to 300, then it's going to be quite a substantial return um, is, is my prediction, you know, from my account. We'll wait and see. You guys can say what you want and see what happens. But I'm showing you this so you can watch it, whether I succeed or fail. My strategy is, is this will, uh, it may go lower, but at some point it's going to go way up. Um, is what I believe as I keep adding these shares. I, you know, I might get this up to 500 shares if I can, because that's just more contracts. If I can sell three contracts, just going to show you this last thing. If you did it even on a biweekly basis, and if my cost average was, um, let's say I get to 180. So if I said, hey, I'm willing to sell all, th all of them just at 180, all right? Or let's say 182 and I'll make $250 per contract, plus an additional thousand bucks, you know, in a week. Does that make sense? So I'd make 17, 50, 18, almost $2,000. I mean, that's how I look at it, like worst case scenario, but I don't wanna sell the shares. I wanna keep accumulating the shares. And I, I'm, I, my thought is, is this account is going to be, this number is gonna be a lot higher at some point it might be a while because i got got a lot going on we get a lot going on you know and you can see this right here whoops that's your mark your maintenance line saying like oh be careful you're getting close right to that maintenance line which is which is why i have to sell another contract um you know or sell some of those shares which which i can do which is not a problem so anyway hope that helps